Hi, it's Anthony from CarPlayLife.com and in this video I'll be looking at the Ezontronics wireless CarPlay and casting adapter for Android head units. This adapter connects to an installed app on your Android OS 4.4.2 or higher head unit and it can breathe new life into it by allowing you to connect wirelessly to Apple CarPlay and it also offers the ability to AirPlay or mirror link to the dongle over Wi-Fi from your iPhone or Android device. In the box, there aren't any paper instructions. You just get the white adapter itself and a short charging cable to power it. Instructions and the CarLink It app can be downloaded from the seller's page, or it's best that you contact the seller directly to obtain this information. This dongle has been available for some time, so it isn't that new. I just haven't been able to bring my review until I've had my hands on the Android app that you simply need to connect this dongle to the head unit. And I'll link to these file locations to the app in the video description down below. Looking over the dongle itself, it's very simple. It just has a USB-C input port to power the dongle itself. And there's a small little status light on the other side. There's no pass through. It's very small, it's white, and it has CarPlay branding on the top there. As installation goes, once the app file location has been supplied and downloaded, you can either download it directly to the head unit itself if it has an internet connection, or you can download it to a USB drive and install it from there. Once installed, you can then launch the app and insert the dongle into your head unit's USB port and wait for the dongle to connect to the app's main menu interface. Connecting the dongle took around seven seconds before the app recognized that the adapter was connected. And once connected to the adapter, you're first asked to connect to your iPhone over Bluetooth for wireless Apple CarPlay. To switch to a different connection type, you have to head over to the adapter's settings menu and select the first option, which will then offer you the options to switch between CarPlay, AirPlay, and Android mirroring. Whilst we're here in the settings menu, you can also toggle options such as auto start at boot up, set an alternative resolution for CarPlay, alter the microphone volume gain, allow the Android app to go full screen on the head unit, alter the steering wheel button functionality for the app specifically, change the return logo whilst in CarPlay, as well as accessing the saving log, checking for updates and viewing the current firmware version number. Booting into wireless CarPlay took 16 seconds after pairing my iPhone to the dongle's Bluetooth profile. So with auto boot turned on and knowing your own system boot up time, this will give you the total time it takes to get into the wireless CarPlay from a cold start. Once in wireless CarPlay, everything felt fairly rapid and responsive. The audio delay in audio, navigation and calling was expected one to two second delay. However, unfortunately in my setup, whenever I invoke Siri, the app would crash. So there are some compatibility issues with my Android head unit setup with this current firmware. Unlike most factory wireless CarPlay adapters, this Ezontronics adapter has one extra trick and that's the ability to cast over AirPlay or mirror link on your iPhone or Android device respectively. Selecting AirPlay from the settings menu and connecting to the Wi-Fi profile of the dongle, you can AirPlay your content from your iPhone to the dongle and then through to your Android head units display. Why you'd want to do this when you have an Android head unit and you've got the ability to run Android apps such as YouTube anyway, this might be because your head unit may not have an internet connection whilst your mobile will likely have. So accessing apps like YouTube on your phone and casting it to your Android head unit becomes a possible use case here. Streaming from the iOS YouTube app to the dongle was pretty easy to set up and playback video onto the head unit with the video cast to the display whilst audio plays out through the car's speaker system. The types of apps might restrict what you can cast from your iPhone. Anything with a copyright block on the app will not show video on the display during playback, but videos from your camera roll, YouTube, and even apps like Plex had no issues casting to the dongle and through to your Android head unit display. I didn't notice any significant audio lag during playback and the video stream was definitely watchable. Switching to Android Mirror Link, I encountered many problems getting my dongle Pixel 5 to recognize the dongle as a casting device, even though I was connected to the dongle over Wi-Fi and I tried both native screencasting options and the Mirror Link app from the Google Play Store. Neither wanted to connect or cast to the dongle, so I would be aware of this issue if casting from your Android is your primary use for this dongle. This Ezon Tronics wireless CarPlay and casting adapter for Android head units currently retails for $49.99 from Amazon US. And you can also buy it from their store on AliExpress currently for $39.99. 
and I'll leave links to both of these stores in the description below so you can learn more about this dongle and to buy yourself one. If you have an Android head unit and you're looking to future proof it with wireless CarPlay or you wish to cast from your mobile phone instead of from an app on your head unit then this is a cheap and fairly reliable way to get this kind of functionality running on your Android display. Unlike the Carlinkit CPCA dongle that I reviewed recently, there is no wired or wireless Android Auto support from this dongle and there is no pass-through port for wired CarPlay either should you want to charge and use CarPlay wired to your head unit. So if your use case is just wireless CarPlay or casting to your Android version 4.4.2 or higher head unit, then check out this CarPlay adapter from Ezontronic. If you'd like to watch another CarPlay adapter for Android head units, you can check out this video here and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching though to the end of this video. If you have, please leave me a thumbs up and let me know if you have any comments about this dongle from Ezontronics. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.